Hi guys and welcome back to Sorry the Paranormal. On today's episode we're going to be taking a look at this Holy Bible which I actually purchased from Barnes the Antique Store. Now, for you guys that watched the live stream the other day, um, we've got some amazing activity centred around this book. Um, you know, and the place where it's come from is just incredible. There's that many personal possessions that are actually inside that store, you know. Who knows what kind of attachments may be linked to those items. Now, I've got four of the Bibles there, and what we're wanting to do is find out if anything is attached to this book. Um, I do believe it is. This book moves around on its own. We've had spirit box responses that mention names that's inside this. Um, two names actually that's actually wrote on one of the pages inside. Now, what I want to do first is set up the five Bibles together and I'm looking for validation from Spirit first to identify which book it is, you know, that has the attachment. We'll start by, you know, something simple like, can you tell me the colour of the Bible um, that the Spirit may be attached to? Once we've got that far, then we'll go into getting names and things like that. Now, I've also got a jar of water with me today, and you might be thinking, a jar of water, what, what have you got that for? Well, over the last few days while I've been conducting these private sessions, Spirits have told me that they need water to make them stronger and as daft as that sounds I can totally vouch for that. Um, every investigation that we've ever done where there's water involved, whether that's a stream or a river that surrounds a place, it's been insane, it's been active as hell. And I do believe that the spirits use this natural power source to communicate with us. And after all, you know, our body is made up of nearly I think it's 75% of the water. Um, is there a connection? We don't know. I don't believe there is, but that's just my own opinion. You know, I'll leave the rest to you guys. But what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the Bibles, we're going to bust a spirit box session out, and first we're going to try and establish a connection and identify if anything at all is attached to one of these books. And from there we'll move on and conduct further experiments. If there's anyone here, is willing to participate in this experiment, I need you to come forwards now and give me some sort of sign, either a knock or a voice come and speak into that camera. Oh my god, fuck me! Thank you! Holy shit! Could you do that again with a different book? <laughs> that was just mad. So I take it that you're with me then right now. Well, thank you very much. So I'm just going to readjust these books again, guys, and stand them back up. I don't know if that just fell over on its own. I'm not sure. But it seems pretty coincidental to me that that just happened. So, so to eliminate this guys, I'm going to turn these Bibles onto the side and that should stop any more Bibles falling over. So we're going to turn this PSB 7 on now and we're going to get some answers. Good afternoon spirits. Can someone confirm to me if they just pushed over that book? If you did, can you say what kind of book it was? I'm looking for intelligent spirits to communicate with me and participate in this experiment. Hi. Can anyone validate to me that that book was just pushed over by a spirit. If a spirit did do that, can you say what kind of book it was? Hi. Hi. 
Is there anyone here with me at this moment in time that wishes to participate? Okay. In front of me, there are five books. Can you tell me, by repeating what I've just said, how many books are in front of me? I'm sure it said five, but before that I'm sure I had a whisper saying there's five. I'll just try again. I'm looking for the number of books that I'm pointing at right now. Just validate that you are here, and that you're aware of my presence, that you can see me, and that you can hear me. Yes. Yeah, okay. When I purchased these books from an antique store in my local town, did something come back with one of them? Yes, okay. Can you identify which book it is? Now you can do this by saying one, two, three, four, or five. Or give me the colour of the Bible. I'm looking for the number of the book which has a possible attachment. The top book is number one, and the bottom book is number five. Can you give me a number in regards to what book there is an attachment to? That's a four. Now, book four is actually the oldest book, I do believe. 1886, book four. Just to show you. 1886 Can you tell me anything more? Can you tell me who the blue book belongs to? But that's a Dave Can you tell me who well, that blue book belongs to the Blue Bible. We know that back in the day people used to give Bibles out as a gift, especially on birthdays. Now, inside this book, Spirits, there are a variety of names. Can you tell me who this book was given to? Try and tell me the name of who this book belonged to. Hey. Oh, that's a Dave, didn't it? That's a Dave. And can you tell me what year? It was given to Dave. Or oh, what decade? What decade was this book given to Dave? Does this substance, this liquid, make you more powerful and able to communicate better? So what I'm going to do guys, just turn this off, I'm going to eliminate three of these Bibles now and I'm going to keep the one that they called number four, and the blue Bible, I'm going to keep these both out. And what I'm going to do is try a little bit of K2 
and um, see if we can get any hits. So if you just bear with me, put those over there, get the K2 out, so you can see it there. Set up these books. We'll try this. Spirits, you've identified possibly two books which may have paranormal activity attached. Can you? Flash this device if there's an attachment to this book right here. The book that says by the will of Philip Lord Wharton. If that book has an attachment, can you set off this device right now and let me know? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit back a bit so if I'll does move or get knocked guys then you know that it's not me and as you can see my legs are up so there's no way that I can physically move up. Are you in this room with me right now? I'm looking for an intelligent spirit that's willing to cooperate with me and set up this device if there is an attachment to that book. The one that says 1886. Bible number four. If that book has an attachment, I need you to make the amber light go off on this device. That will highlight that your chosen number was four, that it is book four, and that is the one where all the activity is centered around. If you could do that in three, two, one, Okay, so what we will do now is we will remove that book and we will try this book. This book was given to David on his sixth birthday in 1962. The name Susan is written inside as well as various other people associated with David. Now, if this book has an attachment I would like you to set off one of the lights on that. I would like... Oh! Fuck! I don't know what happened then, right? But I couldn't talk. I, I just couldn't speak. Thank you very much. Oh my God, I've got ice cold. Ice cold. And that just proves to you guys, right? That... There's something with that book, I'm telling you now. That's right strange, isn't it? I'm just going to turn the spirit box on right quick, just for a, a little bit of validation. Has someone just pushed over that blue Bible? I believe that someone has just knocked that Bible over. That's just like, fucking blowing my mind. <coughs> Is Susan here? Susan, if you are here, or Martin, if you look at the bottom guys, the names are inside. Yeah. Did you just push over this book? Did? Did you hear that? Did? I'm sure that said did. Okay, could you do that again right now? 
just one more time and we'll try and find out more about David and I'll try and get this book back to him. Can you try and knock it over once more if you would like me to try and find who this book belongs to? Wow, I've got the biggest headache in the world. Just come over now. Hey. If you just pushed over that Bible, could you set off a light on this device here just to let me know that that was you? Yeah, it's pulsing, guys. Who's in my home? Since I brought this book back, I physically heard you walking up and down the stairs. I've seen you out of the corner of my eye. I felt your presence behind me. Is it because I have this book in my own that you are here? <laughs> it just rather said, it is, or... I don't know, I'm sure it said, it is. Are you angry that I have this book? That would have said the Bible, won't it? Please know that I will look after this book. Could you give me David's surname? Could you try again? I'm looking for the surname of the person who rightfully owns this book. If we can get his surname, David's surname, we may be able to try and find him and reunite him with this item. Is that something that you would like? Okay, well, could you start by giving me his name, his surname? Man. Man, David. Is that M A double N, David Man? That just said die, or is died. Eat. Eat. I just had something to eat. Are you hungry? I'm not kidding you guys, I feel like spirits are eating my head. It's just throbbing out of nowhere, absolutely pulsing, like almost migraine. Do you know what town I actually purchased this book from? Or do you know what kind of store it came from? Sure. Sure. Yeah. 
cup, that's correct. Do you know what town or what area this shop is in? Well, thank you for speaking to me. You gave me a little bit of information that I can work with. What I'm going to do now is turn off this radio device and I'm going to turn on another. And what I would like you to do is affect the device with all your might and all your strength just to confirm to me that there is a presence here and it's something to do with this book. Is that something that you may be able to do? To try and help me? Hey. Okay, I'm going to turn off this radio now, so thank you very much. And I hope you can communicate via the use of the next device. So we'll turn that off. What I want to do now is actually put on the REM pod. Um, and we'll just see if we can get anything else from that. I'll leave the K2 where it is. And hopefully we'll get some more activity. So, there you go. I'll put it in window there. Thank you for taking the... <laughs> wow. You are great. Can you see this book? How do you explain this? And it's really, really, really affecting it. You'll not see the lights because of the sunlight coming through the window. Thank you. I wonder if this explains my headache. You know, energy that's around. What was that? There's energy of that, like something moving. This is in the middle of the afternoon. Look how light it is. This just proves as well, guys, that spirits are everywhere, all the time. Are you associated with this book? Do you know who it belongs to? Can you see this book? Where you are? Can you speak in my ear? Can you touch me on the shoulder? Yeah, that noise again then. Are you just a spirit that's attached to me? And nothing to do with that book? So much proper. Got a hold of my head here. I feel like my brain's just gone. Can you give me another sign that you're still here? Can you set it off again? Now that's just bizarre, isn't it? Absolutely bizarre. Are you aware that you are dead? If you know that you're a spirit, can you do something right now? In this little tiny room? I'll quickly just turn on the spirit box once more, just to, just to validate if a spirit's affected that device then. Obviously, spirits, that is called a REM pod. If you can still hear me, when I turn on this radio, I want you to tell me the name of the device that you've just been affecting.
Whoever was just affecting that device right there, can you do it again now? Can you give them the name of the device I've just told you? It's called a REM pod. And just for reference, I'm, I'm sure I saw a ball like that corner of my eye only seconds ago. You might have noticed me kind of glance. It seems to go down this direction. I'm not 100% sure, but it's what I thought I saw. Do you know what colour that device in the window is on top? It's got a coloured disc on top. Do you need something from me? Well, thank you for taking the time out this afternoon to communicate. It's been a real pleasure to speak to the spirits once more. Do look forward to more of these sessions. Chair. I said chair. I said chair. <laughs> Did you enjoy this afternoon, this chat? Whoa! <laughs> I take that as a yes. Is it possible for you to say goodbye? Oh, and just before you go, I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch your name. Could you give me your name so we can speak again in the future? Please try and give me a name, I'd love to know who you are. Thank you for speaking to me. We'll catch up again soon. Well guys, I'm not sure what to actually make of that session. Um, some insane stuff happened. Even that REM pod's still going off. <laughs> My head, as I described to you through the video, is just absolutely throbbing me. I need to open a window, let some of this energy out. Um, in regards to the Bible, we had two different Bibles fall over. Um, the Spirits chose Bible number four, which was the book from 1886. And I also kept the Blue Bible out because I believe that it's something to do with that book. Now, both of them fell over and I was shocked, to be honest. Sure, it's not pure coincidence that two books fell over like that. I'm not having it, I've had these books stood up for ages and it's usually just the blue bible that goes over. Um, again, I'm sure the spirits confirmed the name David which is actually written inside that little blue book. And I will be conducting more of these sessions in the future in regards to the bibles. Um, I do think there's something in it. Um, whether the spirits are telling the truth or not, I just don't know at this stage. Throughout this little video, I was seeing things out of the corner of my eyes, and I'm sure I saw a ball of light uh, go down this general direction towards the spirit box. Um, I physically saw that. I don't know if it's been captured on the video. Obviously, times throughout the video where the room gets darker, 
that's um, possibly to do with the sunlight, you know, the clouds and things like that. I don't think it will paranormal in nature. But we just go, no, do we? That's, it's, this is what it's about. Sitting in a little room on your own, talk to a radio. That's all people would say. Um, I've got 100% faith in some of these devices in, in terms of how spirits can connect and use them. Now what, even now, you'll find that spirits are the best at communicating with you when you're not even trying to do anything, you know what I mean? When you're just talking to someone or to the camera, they, they like the attention. When you're not talking to them, they get a bit mad, I found. But thank you for watching this video. I know it's been a while since we've done something. Um, you know, I've had a lot of personal issues going off in my life at this moment in time. Uh, but they are getting resolved and things are starting to look up. Do look forward to an investigation which is coming up soon with our new member, Katie. Now, Katie is a photographer from Sheffield and she's joining our crew as a photographer and video person. She'll be coming around on our investigations, taking action shots of the team, you know, capturing those explosive moments on camera, you know, the important parts. Um, they'll all be uploaded to the Instagram page, to the Facebook page, the Twitter page. And we're all looking you know, forward to meeting her. So, thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.